Girl, I can't lie. Do you kind of sort of have an idea of what your style is, but every single time you put together an outfit, something is just off? Like, it's almost like something is missing and you need to find what it is. Your personal style just needs a little bit of elevating and I'm here to help you do just that. So sit back, relax, grab a snack as I teach you how to elevate your style. I think my most asked question on all my social media platforms is one, where do you shop? Which I'll get into later. And also how I elevated my style. If you go on my Instagram and you scroll all the way down to 2020 and even 2021, you'll see that I was definitely in the stage where I was just trying to find my personal style and build my wardrobe. I started off with lots of basics, which is the reason why you saw a lot of basics in the beginning. But I feel like over time, I really elevated my style and found what I like personally. And now I'm gonna share some tips that I have acquired on how I did that. I feel like it's easy to go on TikTok and look at these different aesthetics that you see on Pinterest and you feel the need to have to fall in one. But fashion really isn't like that or it isn't like that for me. I feel like I definitely gravitate towards different things and I feel like my personal style is a nice combination of everything. So I'm gonna be talking about that in this video. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. I post, ooh, not really that active, but I post or try to post every Sunday. If I'm up to it, maybe I'll even post on a Thursday. It hasn't been good for me on YouTube. But if you wanna see me all the time, definitely, definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm a lot more active there. I share more about what I do on the day-to-day -day there. So definitely, definitely follow me on those platforms. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, you need to self-assess. Go on your Instagram if you post your outfits on there, go on your camera roll if you have outfits in there, even go to your closet and just see what you have. Once you've gone back to your former outfits, it's time to ask yourself some important questions. The main thing that I ask myself is, do you still like the outfits you wore one year ago? And if you found your personal style, the answer should be yes. If the answer is no, don't worry, it's fine. It just means means that you're growing, your taste is changing, and that's always fine. But once you find your personal style, the changes and the things that you like shouldn't be like night and day. It's okay to grow out of things every once in a while, that's fine, but you don't want that to happen too often. If it's happening often, that's probably a sign that you are one to hop on lots of trends, and it shows that you really don't have much of a personal style. Another thing I ask myself is, what what trends did I participate in that have already died down? The thing about me and trends, I do participate in trends. I do love me a nice trend. But the thing about trends is that if I'm going to participate in it, I plan on wearing whatever that is, even when it goes out of style, because eventually it will. And you have to like it even when people have forgotten about it. An example of this are those Iron Man S glasses with the orange tint. Those were really, really trendy last summer. Everybody had a pair and I had a pair as well. And I absolutely love those sunglasses, but I don't really see a lot of those sunglasses anymore. I feel like people have definitely converted over to like the cool biker glasses. I don't really see those nice 70s glasses with the orange tint anymore. But the thing is, even though it's not trendy anymore, I still wear it, I still like it. And that's how you know you found your personal style. So make sure you look throughout your or camera roll or Instagram, see what trends you participated in that have already died out so that you know maybe not to buy something of that style again because history has shown that maybe you don't really like it as much as you think you do. Second thing you need to do is take inspiration. Obviously, everyone says that you need to take inspiration from Pinterest, which is a great place where I take inspiration. If you wanna follow my Pinterest, it's at Coco Chanello. But another place that I take inspiration from is The Runway. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I do these little like wear or tear 
are things where I show um, outfits from a previous designer's collection and we as a collective decide whether we like it or whether we don't. And ever since I started doing that and just like watching more runway shows in general, I've taken lots of inspiration for my outfits from there. So for example, this outfit. This is outfit is inspired by one of the previous Blue Marine shows. I think it was from last season. I think it was summer, spring, summer 2022, I think. I don't know. But it was very recent and I saw this one look, I saw this one outfit on the runway and I was like, snatchies, bitch. Give me up. And I literally like recreated the entire outfit and an entire photo shoot in Ikea. It was really awkward because everybody was looking at me funny. But oh my gosh, when I tell you that outfit, chef's kiss. So do not sleep on runway. Do not sleep on runway. I feel like for some designers, maybe taking inspiration from them isn't the greatest because some designers on the runway, they have very impractical clothing, which is just like, ooh, what? One thing I really like to emphasize with my personal style is the ability to actually wear it out. I feel like it's really easy for an outfit to look good on Instagram, but is it practical to wear like every day? Like, like will your titties be slipping out or will you be able to walk in these shoes? Like you wanna wear something that's practical, but also something that's cute. So practicality is something that I hold near and dear to my heart. So usually when I'm finding inspiration, I actually take a lot of inspiration from like early 2000s runway because early 2000s runway has a lot of more practical stuff the next thing I did is I found some new stores to shop at okay I found some new stores to shop at um I feel like in terms of basics it's really easy to go to like skims or H&M to find stuff and whenever I do need basics that is where I go but now I definitely do a lot of my shopping on Depop I do a lot of my shopping at thrift stores this top is literally a top that I bought off Depop it's so nice. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's a good glove. And I feel like shopping on Depop and shopping off thrift stores really, really helps with finding your personal style, mainly because at like a thrift store, things aren't as like organized. I mean, like in regular stores, things are usually categorized or placed out within the store by like style and stuff. You have the jeans over here, the blazes over here, the preppy clothes over here, the swim over here, the, I don't know, other clothes over there. But I feel like with a thrift store, it's not like that. Like everything is scrambled at the store. So I feel like you have to put in the work to really dig to find things that you like. You can't just go to a section and be like, I'll just pick something out from this area of the store because I know it will look good because I'm seeing all the models and they're wearing the clothes and they look decent in it, so I'll be fine. Like, no, you really need to go to a thrift store where the clothes are kind of just all together and you really need to dig in there to find something you like. So I feel like that way you're manually picking things out and making an outfit out of it rather than just going to a section of the store, buying from that section and being like, okay, this obviously works together because H&M told me it works, you know? And I also do a lot of my shopping on Depop. A long, long time ago, I made a video about shopping on Depop and I did not like my experience mainly because I didn't know how to shop on Depop but once you figure out how to shop on there it's so fun. Clothes are quite a little bit pricey there though they are a little pricey but I would say Depop shopping has like a skims price point. If you can afford skims and if you can afford Zara you can definitely afford to shop on Depop. Another thing that I've like recently done is I've been DIYing my clothes. I feel like DIYing like that term, I probably shouldn't use that term because I feel like when you think of DIY, like you're really thinking of like completely reconstructing something. But the little things that I do with my outfits, like I wouldn't even consider them DIY. It's just like literally slight alterations. Like for example, I bought these one skinny jeans and they're just like regular skinny jeans and I really, really like them. But instead of of wearing them as skinny jeans, I thought it would be cute to wear them as capris. So I cut them into capris and I've been wearing them and it looks so nice. I like them so much better as capris. So it doesn't even have to be like real DIY. I just want you guys to know that you don't have to wear things the way it's supposed to be worn. Like for me, I 
cut up my pants sometimes, like I'll cut rips in them. I'll wear tanks backwards if I want a different neckline. It's just the little things that I do. I have a lot of little things that I do. I can make an entire video about the little things that I do to alter my clothes to make them cool. If you want me to do that, I can definitely do that. Last but not least, I'm heavy on the accessories. I try to accessorize as much as I can. One thing about me is that I never used to accessorize, mainly because I didn't have like a nice solid way for me to to actually like keep track of my jewelry. Like I'm one to tangle my jewelry so easily, lose my jewelry so easily. So I feel like having accessories for me for a long time was just like non-existent because I just knew I was going to lose them in three to five business days. But once I got a nice jewelry box, I developed really great ways to just like kind of, you know, preserve my jewelry, lay them out, organize them in a way they won't get tangled or lost. I've just been slowly, slowly, getting more jewelry. I don't think I have converted to like high-end jewelry just yet because I feel like I'm still in the phase where I tangle sometimes and I lose sometimes and it would be a tragedy if I like tangled something that was really expensive. So I tend to do a lot of my jewelry shopping just, you know, like in stores, for between one H&M, like that's where I get my jewelry because like because like if you give me a bracelet with like real gold, I'll lose it. If you give me a necklace with like real gold or whatever, real diamonds, it's gonna be lost. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's really important to distinguish whether you're a gold girl or a silver girl. I'm definitely a gold girl, but I do wear silver if the outfit calls for it. So I definitely have a nice mixture of both. And also you have to realize your hair and your makeup is a part of the outfit. Like there'll be times where I have this outfit in my head and I have the plan for it and I have the vision for it and I'm like I cannot wear this right now because my hair is in braids and I feel like this outfit would look so much better if I had like a leave out or a wig on so I'll literally like put the outfit to the side until I have like a leave out or a leave out sew in or a wig and then that's when I'll wear the outfit I'm like really dramatic you don't have to be like that I'm just dramatic but hair and makeup is a part of the plan I try to implement whatever like main color I'm wearing within my makeup like right now I'm just doing my everyday makeup routine like this is just like my everyday but if I'm wearing a cool color I'll try to incorporate that in like maybe the eyeliner or like the waterline over here or maybe in the lip if I want to be bold um, so yes I do love to accessorize remember your face your hair your accessories it's just as important as the clothes that you're wearing and it will make or break your outfit and honestly, another thing I've just been doing is just like taking my pictures a different way. I just feel like on Instagram, you'll see a picture with like the perfect outfit, the perfect hair, the perfect makeup, in the perfect location. And like, you'll think like, wow, the outfit's like really nice because it's in a nice place. Like, I feel like Instagram can sometimes fool you into thinking an outfit is nice when it really isn't. I feel like Instagram does a really good job of making you think that an outfit is as put together as you think it is, just based off of the location. I feel like when you see a pretty, picture with a pretty girl in a pretty location you kind of like think the outfit is nice but in reality a lot of the time it's not so I feel like sometimes I feel like people do that with me because I have these like not, I would say elaborate but I take pictures in like nice places and if you take pictures in places that matches your outfit people will think that your outfit is fire when really it's just the picture that's fire and your outfit's trash I don't I don't even know why I included that like I just feel like I needed to say that but yeah, that is literally how I elevated my wardrobe, literally. Like, I literally love my closet. My closet's literally, ugh, my closet. My closet's really, it's nice, I love my closet. I really hope this video helped you. If it did help you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I post every Sunday and Thursday, so please be on the lookout for my videos. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.